Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to do a little experiment with the PlayStation 2 emulator PCSX2 and the Ryzen 3 2200G. Right now I'm running everything at stock clocks, 3.5 gigahertz on this quad core, the built-in Vega 8 graphics. I want to show you guys that a good GPU does make a difference. So what I'm going to do is run PCSX2 with this stock Radeon Vega 8 graphics that comes built into the 2200G APU. Now I do a lot of emulation videos and I build a lot of little emulation machines. Number one comment I get is throwing a 1050 or a 1060 in that thing is overkill for emulation. It is for older emulation. Now things have changed a lot in the emulation scene. The GPU is almost as important as the CPU nowadays. And I wanna prove that right now with the PlayStation 2 emulator PC SX2. I'm going to start it up. Now, unfortunately, I can't use Afterburner here to display the GPU percentage with this Vega 8 graphics. Something weird. Until they update it, I can't do it. So I'm going to have to leave this on screen. And I'm going to kind of minimize it here. Bring it over to the side. So we can see the CPU percentage and the GPU percentage. What's being used right now. The game I want to test here is Shadow of the Colossus. I'm going to test it with this stock AMD Vega 8 GPU that's built into the 2200G. Then I'm going to throw a 1050 Ti low profile in this machine and show you the performance gain that we get out of this thing. I'm going to go into my configuration, video, plugin settings. Now I'm going to be using DirectX 11 here, hardware acceleration with the default hardware which will be the Radeon Vega 8 GPU. 3X resolution, and that's pretty much it. I wanna show you how it stresses this built-in GPU, what kind of performance we get, then I wanna show you what the 1050 Ti does. Now, any emulator that uses OpenGL, DirectX 9, DirectX 11, DirectX 10, or even Vulkan will benefit from a good GPU. Older stuff, like old SNES emulators, it's not a big deal. But these newer ones coming out, like PC SX2, the PS3 emulator, SimU, Citra, they will benefit from a good GPU. Let's get started here. I have the game loaded right here. I will have the FPS listed. You'll also see the speed up here. DirectX 11, 512 by 448. I'm going to load my save state. And we're going to see how this performs. Now we're at 3x resolution. Even if we go down, this is not fully playable on the Vega 8 built into this 2200G. We should be running at a constant 60 FPS. And as soon as we go outside, we drop down to 25. If you keep an eye on the CPU and the GPU usage over here, we have this GPU maxed out completely. 99 to 100%. CPU, we're only using about half the power here. If I turn the camera and get something big on screen, it's going to drop down even more. I'm going to drop this resolution down to native PS2 resolution, and I'll show you that it's still not playable. Config, video, plugin settings. We're at 3x. We're going to go to native. It's going to make the game look a little worse here. We will get a better frame rate, but it's not going to be at 60 FPS. And as you can see, the GPU usage has dropped down tremendously from 100% to 60. But if we want to upscale these games, we're going to need a decent GPU. Now, one of my top recommended GPUs is the 1050 Ti. Right now, prices are a little high. But I got a low profile about four days before those prices went up. I got it for $160 on Amazon. You can still get one for about $230. I 
I recommend waiting a little bit unless you're really hard up for a GPU. So this is the performance right now with the built-in Vega 8 graphics. On the 2200G, stock clocks, 3.5 gigahertz, and overclocking this RAM is not going to help out much at all. It's just not powerful enough to run these with DirectX 9, DirectX 11, or even OpenGL. It does run a lot of PS2 games very well, like it sits, but there are some, like Shadow of the Colossus, it just won't handle well. I'm going to go back up to 3x resolution. Actually, we'll go to 4. You can see the game looks amazing, but the frame rate is so low. GPU's maxed out, CPU's at about half, 50%. I'm going to go ahead and install the GTX 1050 Ti low profile GPU into this unit. We're going to come back. And I'm going to show you how it performs with a good GPU. All right, so I'm back. We're still with the 2200G clocked at 3.5 gigahertz. Memory, same speed. Only thing I changed was adding this NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. We're going to get right into it. PC SX2. I'm going to slap this over to the side a little bit so we can see that usage. Boot this game back up. So, video settings, plug-in settings. 4X native resolution. We couldn't run it really well at all with the Vega 8. I'm going to load this up exactly where we were before. And I'll see if I can get my horse. So the only thing that's changed is the GPU. We no longer have that GPU maxed out. As you can see, it's at 60%. CPU seems to be a little lower also. But even if we go and look back this way, we're still at 60 FPS. At 4X resolution, I'm going to try to go up a little higher with this. I just really wanted to show this off because I had a lot of people telling me that the 1050 Ti was overkill for emulation. Yeah, for older systems, it's definitely overkill. But for newer stuff like the PS2, PS3, Wii U, even the Wii, it helps out a lot. We're going to go up to 5x and see if it'll handle it. Video, plug in. I'm not sure if it's going to though. Let's see. And it just looks so good at 5x. Yeah. Seems to be handling it well. So I'd say there's not much difference between 4 and 5 or even 3 and 5. But being able to go that high is just a big plus. So does a newer GPU help out with emulation? Yes, it does. If the emulator is using OpenGL, DirectX of any sort or even Vulkan, a good GPU is going to help out. I just wanted to make this video real quick to show you guys the difference. The 1050 Ti is a bit expensive right now. You don't need a 1050 Ti. There are tons of used GPUs that are just as good. I have a R9 270X, which performs almost as well as this 1050. It, it'll do this also. And you can get those used on eBay or Amazon, but this was the lowest end GPU I had, besides that 270X, and I wanted to test it out here. I really wish I had a 1030 that I could show you guys, but right now this is all I got, and it works well with PS2. As long as the PS2 game is compatible with PC SX2, I don't see any reason why this system wouldn't run it. This is one of the harder games to emulate. I was able to play Gran Turismo 4 at full speed with the 2200G. I made a video a few weeks ago, I'll leave a link in the description. Using this 1050i paired with the 2200G, you'll just be able to upscale much higher. 
I just wanted to show everybody that a GPU does help out with emulation. As long as the emulator supports some type of video acceleration, OpenGL, DirectX 9, DirectX 10, DirectX 11, DirectX 12, Vulkan, the GPU will help out. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. I'll leave links in the description to Amazon if you want to pick one of these 1050 Ti's up. And like always, thanks for watching.